Hi everyone, I'm using the Lightseers Tarot for our reading today. I'll choose three cards, read the base of the pack, and I'll also choose one from Anna Starts pack as well for some extra guidance. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. We have the Sun Trine Uranus today in Taurus. So Taurus is a fixed sign. An earth sign so just be mindful Uranus brings in sudden change sudden shock the the moon is conjunct with Mars in Libra today also so Mars is is not really at home in Libra uh, it, Mars is the I am Libra is the we so don't take things personally today. If something's said to you, don't take it personally because it could be said from a, an emotion, a stress that somebody may vent onto us. Also, be mindful of what you're listening to in the outside world also because Uranus in this position brings out shock. So it brings out news and because Pisces, Neptune is re re retrograding in Pisces. So this is a time of illusion. So things coming up to be discerning about. Listen to your own intuition. Don't take things personally. If it's being said from somebody around us. Uh, and certainly be mindful of what you're listening to. Be mindful of what you're digesting from the outside world. To There's a lot of illusion going on. So just listen to your own, your own intuition. Allow your intuition to guide you through today. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video and Libra the moon in Libra the moon is all around our feelings so we've got Mars there in Libra again be mindful of what may be said not to take things wrong just to come back into into alignment with ourselves and, and pay attention at how things that being said make us feel and do our own cleansing and, and bringing ourselves into alignment. So however this, this news is coming, don't allow it to take your attention away from the beautiful energies that are entering earth now. We are facing the galactic core, energy coming in from the galactic core allowing our hearts to open and to absorb this energy doing our inspirations living and focusing on how we would feel living the life of our inspiration what inspires us what makes us feel good what really brings the most beautiful feelings into our being and focus on that and allow this light from the the galactic core this heavenly light to penetrate into our hearts doing our visualizations especially while we're on we're still on this new moon and focusing on our visions regardless of what's going on in the outside world don't get drawn in everything is that we're always going through tests, initiations of we can focus on something that we may feel is an injustice because Libra is all around justice. We may see that there's an injustice, whether it's on us or someone else, and we start to then go into protection or uh, some kind of debate or, and it's a step out, step out of it open your heart allow this stardust from the galactic core that's what it looks like stardust that's coming in these very fine light particles coming in and as we are as we're taking it in into our hearts and visualizing on our, our most living our life in our most 
highest potential and happiness and joy and health and so whatever goes on don't get drawn in come back in do meditation today opening our hearts allowing it to absorb this beautiful light from the the galactic core from heaven coming in bringing in those the divine intelligence the high wisdom the the insights and also as we are focusing on our highest potential to allow it to merge into this this light these light particles in our heart and then surrender it surrender our inspirations our visions into the the new moon see the new moon as a basket that we're placing our intentions in and intentions are a very powerful word they hold it holds a lot of energy and sometimes we say it and we don't realize the impact and the power of that word I love the word inspirations because things that inspire me I focus on being living a life an inspiring life so whatever it is for you really focus on the words that you use in also because this is a time where mercury is stationary guiding us with the our communication and the words that we're using our words our spells and to really be mindful of how we're speaking even to the conversations with ourselves and especially in the outside world our spells create it's a vibration so setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective for anyone who views this video and as always take what resonates and just let the rest go so there we are the fool the six of wands, the nine of cups, what a beautiful, beautiful card, and the ten of swords, the eight of cups, which keeps presenting itself, and the magician, well, the high priestess, so we've got some beautiful cards here, the fool, Uranus, bringing in those changes those the news that may get us all all frustrated and start to vent or even to speak about it we, we we're giving our energy away so the fool is our a new path coming in so let go of everything in the outside world realize because of neptune retrograding in Pisces there's a lot of disillusion to allow our hearts to guide us and navigate us we have everything we have we ever need within us and she's just holding the pouch there and she's falling backwards into that flower of life knowing that the, the universe will capture so as we are giving up our visions our inspirations and and knowing and feeling it with of 100% faith then we are victory this is a card of victory and she's stood in the spotlight and she's got that wreath there that shows that she's of achievement so moving forward we this this is a card of absolute success so really focusing on that sucks success standing in our own light and then the nine of cups doing our meditations on this powerful new moon bringing ourselves into alignment feeling venus is in leo and she's starting to move direct and she's moving alongside the asteroid juno now juno is has the same qualities as venus romance love and as Venus started to move direct, Juno came 
at the side of her and so they're traveling together do you know it moves a lot slower but at the moment they're traveling together so this is a, a lovely energy of love of romance venus wants to solve everything with love and and so whatever may be said to us today whatever we may hear in the outside world today focus on self-love focus on loving everyone and focusing on our wishes when we are in that place of love and we are focusing on our intentions the nine of cups is the emotional wish card so everything that we could ever everything that we've been focusing on coming in now don't let whatever may happen take our attention away from that this is our responsibility we are moving through this time into this beautiful time of inspired living this is a spiritual connection this is our relationships everything the new guide stepping in that I keep feeling coming in helping us as we move through these different these different dimensions new guides stepping in so lots of things to be happy about if anything's triggering us to know that now we're not placing our energy there any longer we're coming back in we're focusing on opening our heart allowing our heart to open to draw in this cosmic light the this stardust it's very fine light particles that, that's coming to earth now and it's listening to our heart and it, it is governed by our I am presence so it listens and, and brings in what is there for our highest good even far outweighs that anything that we could ever envisage and then we have the ten of swords difficult situations now coming to an end challenges coming to an end we finally give up we're not getting involved in the old drama we're stepping out of it because it's not good for us we're stepping out of it and as we step out of it we start to crack open and the light starts to come in and guide us so you can see that all those birds flying away those thoughts that used to be pecking her head flying away and she's moving into that golden light there free just feel freedom with this after maybe the dark night of the soul or going through some really challenging times this is the end and then we have the eight of cups again both walking away moving away from those challenges going into that beautiful serenity tranquility happiness joy the ocean there is nice and still so she's shifted all those worries from her head those worst case scenarios she's calmed herself down she's listening to her own intuition and allowing it to guide her and then we have the magician and the high priestess magic pure magic is happening around us it's in the air so whatever whatever is going on that's so noisy that wants to grab our attention in the outside world bring it back to your own magic feeling that mystic within us mercury is connected to the magician and so this is the mercury is stationary reminding us that our words are spells our thoughts create our, re our perception 
our words create our reality because what we start to think about and think about and then we start to speak about it is out there. And once those words are out there, they will go and do and create either destruction or love. And we're moving up into the fifth dimension where there is only love. So as we are using our words that, that send out the vibration of love, we then start to connect to the frequency and the wavelength of the higher dimensions where there is beautiful divine magic. The high priestess connected to the moon. The moon is in Libra, conjunct Mars. So this is find harmony within. Whatever's coming at us, don't retaliate, don't get drawn in because if we do, then we are entangled. So it's go within. We've got everything that we need within us for our evolution. We're moving into this time of multidimensional beings and from being in a third dimension up into um, a multidimension, it, it's, it's, it can be challenging to trust and to have faith but once we start to we see that there is such beauty in the world that we don't have to get drawn into any drama we don't have to get drawn into doing anything that doesn't feel right and we start to, this is the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine, the mystic within us, starting to emanate magic now. And the, the card that jumped out was the star. This is the card connected to Aquarius. We're moving into the age of Aquarius, the golden age of Aquarius. The star, again, with the Nine of Cups, is confirmation that our wishes, our beautiful wishes, come into fruition to stay focused on this this is connecting with the the planets as well to really connect with the star constellations to feel the surge of energy coming through the the transformations that are occurring as we do move through this this ascension that is guided by the cosmos connecting with and, and that's the the light coming from mid heaven all the way from the galactic core coming in this this stardust holding on and sending our our inspirations our intentions our beautiful wishes into the quantum field and feeling them and holding them there so as we send the particles back into the quantum field it starts to to activate within us so we activate within us our beautiful wishes so it's a powerful energy that's assisting us now, that light coming in. It's like a hand from God coming in, saying, I've got you, just, just hold on, just stay focused on the divine, stay focused on your higher self, stay focused on the beautiful, loving messages that are coming through. Everything's there for you. The star card is one of healing. And Aquarius is the, the water bearer. It's an earth sign, but it's a water bearer. But the water is wisdom. It's high consciousness and she's pouring it all over us for us to take in. So wonderful time staying focused on what it is that we really do wish to bring into our reality. I'm setting the intention now for a reading for the highest and greatest good. 
for the collective for anyone who views this video. Clear and activate. There we go. Opening up, receiving this beautiful light from the galactic core that's listening to us coming all the way from heaven to activate us. So as we clear this sacred space within us and open up and allow it, you can see there she's opening or he is opening up to allow it to come into his heart to create miraculous healing there so that we can move forward in and up into the fifth dimension and higher. So beautiful activations today. Staying open, creating that sacred space. Don't get drawn in. Whatever goes on that we want to take our attention off this. I want to start to speak about something else. Come back, come back, open up and just do our manifestation work today. So I'm sending so much love. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And at the base of the pack there is divine will. Focus on the divine. We have a choice. We can go in to whatever comes up and we will be feel like we want to speak about it. It's it's there, I can feel it in the air. We may be triggered and want to react. Just come back, that's our free will. But once we do, we've hooked in. So coming back, opening up, speaking with the divine, our higher self, allowing ourselves to merge into those beautiful visions today. So wonderful, wonderful cards. Have a truly magical day. Feel the magic. Feel that divine magic. We've got the High Priestess, the Magician with us today, supporting us. This is the energy coming in that is there to assist us with anything else that may want to take our attention away from our inspirations. So I'm sending so much love. Have a wonderful, wonderful and magical day. Thank you so much for listening. God bless. Thank you.